Hey, it's welcome. Yeah, so uh, example two here, and uh, we have a pretty interesting uh, but fun challenge, uh, which is to show that this is true. Um, so um, to start, we're going to work with the left hand side, um, and that's a side involving sigma, and that's what this is about after all, right? Okay, so from what we know of sigma, we know that this is equal to 1 times log of 2 plus 2 times log of 2 plus, well, you can read, um, and so yeah. Uh, all of this is equal to that, yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, now, this here uh, can be simplified further using two properties of logarithms. I have a lot of videos on logarithms in my advanced algebra 2 section, so check those out, and I'll add many more videos on logarithms because I love logs. But yeah, uh, the two properties we need here are in order what's called the power rule uh, for logarithms and then the... Uh, product rule for logarithms in order. So we start with the power rule. So using the power rule, we can rewrite this here um, as this here. And then uh, in our next step, using the um, product rule, we can write this last guy um, in this manner. And so going from this like product to this uh, sum and backwards is what's called the product rule. For logs, and of course, using exponent rules, we can write this here, uh, the argument of log, um, as 2 to the 10th. And so we're done. Yeah? Okay, cool. So example 3 is next. 